Right, so welcome along to our second video in the how to set up your $100 marketing and sales tech stack series. Um, so we've already set up HubSpot, we've got our account sorted, uh, and now we're gonna take a look at how we get it all integrated with our website. Um, we're gonna then take a look at how we do Thrive Themes set up and integrate that with HubSpot in another video. So let's jump in and get started. Uh, we've got HubSpot sitting here. Um, this is our HubSpot account. So one of the things that we need to be really clear on is this HubSpot ID here. So you'll see underneath proposition, this number here, that that is the number that you're gonna need throughout this process. Uh, it's the Hub ID and it's how HubSpot integrates everything. So we've got a demo WordPress website set up to show you guys how to do this. Um, simply log into your WordPress website uh, if you're struggling to find out how to log in, uh, the URL up here will always be the URL to log into your dashboard. Cool, so there are two plugins that we're gonna upload into our WordPress website to get HubSpot set up. So to upload a plugin, just come down here um, and go to add new on the left menu, plugins, add new. Uh, and once you've done that, um, you're gonna search for HubSpot plugins. HubSpot's got a couple of plugins that we're going to use today uh, and configuring them is really, really easy. Uh, so we're going to use the HubSpot free marketing plugin for WordPress, which is going to start passing some data from WordPress back to our HubSpot account. Uh, this is important if we want to use WordPress blogs and tracking and all of that sort of stuff. So I'm just going to click install now. Uh, that'll download and install that plugin into my WordPress site. Cool. And then once that's installed, I'm gonna click the activate button. Awesome, and that's gonna push me to my plugins list. Uh, and there's a few things that I need to do to finish setting that up. So I'm just gonna click settings here. And I need to connect my HubSpot ID. Well, I've already connected a HubSpot ID. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect that account um, from this website. I've already done this in a previous thing, just so I can show you how to do it again. So you're gonna get this screen here. Uh, if you are a new user to HubSpot, you'll get a welcome back screen using a new user. Uh, oh, sorry, a login screen, but I get this welcome back screen because I've already got a few HubSpot accounts. So I'm gonna click continue with this user, right? I've already integrated a client site, but I need to view my other accounts so I can integrate the right one. So I've just got my proposition site here. I'm gonna continue with that account. And great, I'm all connected to HubSpot. So I don't need to do anything else at this stage. I've connected the WordPress free plugin to HubSpot and that'll start pushing analytics back to my HubSpot account. The next thing I need to do is, there's a few ways to do this, but this is the technologically easy way, technological no skills way to do this, is from the back end of your WordPress website, just search for plugins HubSpot again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the tracking code. Um, so you can install the tracking code manually by going into the HubSpot dashboard, copying and pasting the code um, into your header of your website where it tells you to. Um, but really what's the easiest way to do it is to download this plugin, HubSpot tracking code for WordPress. It's built by HubSpot. It's the easiest way to do this. So again, click install. Activate the plugin. and click settings. So same process as before. Now is where we need our hub ID. So I've already used this before, so I've got it right here, but you're gonna type your hub ID into the settings. And what, that mean, what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull the hub ID into the tracking code for your website. So you're gonna to start to get sessions um, tracked from your website uh, in your hub. So we'll start to see those coming through very, very shortly. Great, so once that's all done, we're actually all set up with the two basic integrations with WordPress and HubSpot. The third thing that we're gonna to want to do is look at our forms. So you've already probably got some forms sitting in marketing lead capture forms in HubSpot. So you've got a list of all of the forms that you've created here. Now you're gonna pick the appropriate form uh, and integrate that with your WordPress page. And what you're gonna, you may need some help from a developer here. Um, the HubSpot forms are all reasonably basic and similar in their look and feel. Uh, and you might have some reasonably 
significant requirements around how you want your forms to look. You want them to be exactly the same as your previous website forms. Um, so grab some help from someone who knows how to build WordPress websites. It should only take them an hour of work tops to replicate the CSS code from your current forms on the new HubSpot forms um, and you'll be away. So that's the, the final thing you're going to need to do because having the right form set up is going to enable the tracking uh, to work properly. What we've just done with this tracking code here is we have created um, a cookie which will put um, which will start tracking visitors who come to your website, what they look at, how long they stay, uh, just like Google Analytics. But what it'll also do is it'll match all of that up so when someone submits a HubSpot form on your website, um, that HubSpot form is tracked. Um, and so it matches them up to all of the content they've previously looked at. So if I've been on your website looking at your blog posts for the last two months and I finally sign up to one of your lead magnets, you'll suddenly see all of the information about what I was looking at before, which is super powerful. Um, the one piece of advice I would have once you've got this HubSpot tracking code set up is that you do now have um, user data capture and tracking on your website. So if you are working with um, European residents or to be fair, anyone, you might want to take a look at the GDPR and how that affects you. Um, check out our blog. We've got a great article on how to know what to do about the GDPR on the Proposition blog. Um, so that's the first step of setting up the WordPress website for our marketing and sales tech stack. Uh, I'm going to end the video here and move you straight on to the next video um, just so we don't overload you with content. The next step will be looking at how to set up Thrive Themes, Thrive Architect Package um, and WordPress and integrating that with HubSpot so you can start to build landing pages without needing to code.